first examination, Dave Lister appears to be a helpless moron space bum. Out of the original 169 crew members aboard Red Dwarf, Lister ranks 169. He's a lowly technician third class, and his major duty is to keep the food dispenser nozzles clean. But he's not an idiot, nor is he helpless. Where he can, which is often, he outthinks his enemies. Rarely is there an episode of Red Dwarf that doesn't include at least one Sherlock moment from Lister. Therefore, one of his high stats is intelligence. He also has a propensity for survival, despite being electrocuted, exploded, infected, and constantly given head trauma. I've selected Endurance as his other high stat. My final special tally is as follows. Without a doubt, his primary skill is repair. Though he's considered almost useless as a technician by the Space Corps, this is mostly due to his lack of motivation. Throughout the series, Lister is able to maintain and repair Starbug, build complex devices like the Replicator, and he even does a complete teardown and reassembly of Crichton, a series 4000 mechanoid, by himself. Among the weapons in Red Dwarf, Lister most commonly uses the Bazookoid. His combat skill is therefore big guns, and when we get a chance, we'll use the fallout equivalent of a bazookoid, which is the Drone Cannon EXB. You can find it in the weapons lab in Mothership Zeta. Until then though, we'll take a page from the episode Sirens. Lister tweaks the garbage disposal unit on Starbug to fire compacted garbage at a meteorite. The Rock It launcher is easily acquired early on and uses the same principle. His last tag skill is Lockpick. While the show kind of glosses over the skill completely, he lives out of lockers on Mimas, breaks into Rimmer's quarters and locker constantly, and has a general aptitude for the work. Now I mentioned his weapons earlier, but here's his other equipment. Lister is almost always wearing a deerstalker hat, very similar in design to the Chinese commando hat. You can find two in Mothership Zeta. His outfit is very unique and difficult to reproduce. I'd say the closest thing is the Grifter's Fit, worn by Tobar the Ferryman. He takes you to Point Lookout. If you want to take it without losing karma, speak to Nadine at the Ark and Dove Cathedral about Tobar performing brain surgeries. When confronted, Tobar will turn hostile and can be killed safely. Now Lister rarely uses chems, but he does have a soft spot for beer. I've required that every beer found must be drank immediately, which leads to some interesting situations. I've included in the description my allocation of all perks taken at every level. I hope you enjoy being a lazy, tone-deaf space bum. Check back next week to see my build for another of the last of his race, Cat. Thanks for watching. Cold outside.